Hello and welcome back to Down the Track. We are continuing our squad analysis for the T20 World Cup. In this episode, we will be looking at the defending champions, two-time World Cup winners, uh, the West Indies. Uh, what a team this is, man! What whoever they put up, very explosive, big hitters, uh, smart bowlers. But I, one thing I would say that they're missing out on a world-class player. I don't know why. Uh, Sunil Narayan. He's had an outstanding IPL. He's won two World Cups for West Indies. He's won two IPLs for KKR. He might win another one. Uh, but um, yeah, he's a world-class T20 player. He can chip in with the bat. He's outstanding with the ball. He can play a ball in the power play. He can ball in the death overs. He can ball in the middle overs. So I think that's a huge, huge miss for, uh, miss for the West Indies. If he was playing, I think they would be hands down favorites uh, just because he brings that experience. And uh, there's some inexperience in the spin bowling lineup. You know, Roshan Chase, yes, he bowls in the test matches. T20 is not as effective. Uh, whereas uh, Jaden Walsh, he's brilliant uh, leg spinner, but, uh, you know, doesn't have that experience that Narayan does. You know, Narayan's been there on the world stage. He's beaten the best. He's got the wicket of the best. So I think that's something uh, that West Indies will be, you know, missing so for sure. Narayan, I don't know why he's not in the squad. Um, but yeah, otherwise, if you look at it, they have some brilliant all-rounders. When it comes to fast bowling all-rounders, medium pace all-rounders, they have Bravo, Pollard. They have um, Russell, um, you know. Uh, Russell, again, there's an injury uh, scare, but I think um, he should be okay for that IPL, uh, for the T20 World Cup. In the IPL, we saw him miss a few games, uh, and I think he should be okay going into the T20 uh, World Cup uh, hamstring issue, but uh, hopefully he can be back to his uh, best. Uh, and then you have the universe boss, Chris Gale, uh, you know, uh, he's definitely going to have an impact no matter what the age is. It's just a number for him. He can n- uh, knock any team out, knock the ball out of the park. Uh, uh, he, we've seen uh, lately that he does like to take his time, but uh, uh, you know that could be in favor of the West Indies because they do have hitters. I don't think run rate is an issue. The biggest thing about this West Indies lineup in terms of batting is that they're boundary hitters. You know, uh, they might consume dot balls, but they'll make that up. Uh, whatever the required rate is, they can make it up by just hitting boundaries. Yes, you know, the grounds are a bit bigger than they would be probably maybe like in some grounds in India, unless you're playing in Sharjah. But I think in Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, they'll still clear the ground. Um, no small is, uh, no ground is big enough for these guys. Um, when it comes to the bowling, of course, they have these smart, medium uh, pace all-rounders in Russell. Uh, he can, uh, you know, he has the pace. He can bowl in the death. He can bowl with the new ball. Same thing with Bravo. I think um, Russell could be tried with the new ball and Bravo in the death overs. Um, they have uh, Pollard as well. And then on the uh, like, um, uh, if you look at the other fast bowlers, you have uh, O'Shane Thomas. He has good speed. Ravi Rampal is uh, in the squad. Very surprising pick. He's still playing. He had a very good CPL. And um, yeah, I don't know if he's going to play. Uh, he has the experience, definitely. So they can always try him. They have um, uh, Obed McCoy, who's been uh, outstanding in that series against Australia. He was brilliant. And yeah, a lot of um, match winners there. Um, if, if you look at their bowling, batting, they have a lot of match winners. I just feel that they're missing out on Narayan, a world-class winner. Um, uh, Rosson Chase and, and uh, uh, Hayden Wall Jr. will have to uh, make up for that. But yeah, if you, if you look at the ideal 11, I'm going to go at the top with Simmons and Lewis. Uh, some people might have uh, Lewis and Fletcher in their ideal 11 because, uh, you know, uh, they're both good options. I'm just going to go with Simmons because I think he has that experience. He's done it in the T20 World Cup. He's done it in the IPL as well, especially in the last T20 in the semi-final against India in 2016 at a match-winning knock. Recently, uh, he's been striking the ball well uh, in the Australia series. He had a couple of good 50, 50s. So he's looking in good form. And Lewis is someone who, who will strike at 150, 160. Uh, that, that's what he averages in strike rate. He will find the boundary. Uh, he's recovering from a slight injury, but I think he should be good for the World Cup. So I'm going to go with these two as my openers. Gail one down, like I said. The universe boss, you can't co- count him out. Um, I, I would play him straight away. Like if he doesn't perform in the first two to three games, then maybe you can see. But uh, you have to stick with him, I think, initially. Uh, Chris Gale is a big match player. A lot of experience. And I think the fact that he knows that there's a lot of hitters behind him, it'll make him more free in, in his approach. So, Gail, one down. Go. I'm going to go Nicholas Puran, two down. He's not had the greatest of IPLs. Uh, but, you know, in West Indies, he might be a completely different player. He knows what the wicket is going to uh, bring out. Can he adjust his game now? Because he's just not been performing in the subcontinent or in the UAE. Uh, but he's going to be a key player. Uh, Nicholas Puran, he's a pocket rocket. He can smash the ball. And uh, he's someone who can be that glue in that middle order, you know, a Maxwell type player for uh, the West Indies. So his form will be key. Uh, alongside him, I'm, after that, I'm going to go with Hetmeyer at five. Hetmeyer, again, not the greatest of IPLs. We saw glimpses of 20s, 30s. We saw him hit a few sixes. So he's slowly getting into that rhythm. 
Uh, at six, Captain Pollard, I think he's going to play a crucial role as captain, as, uh, as a batsman and as a bowler. Uh, yeah, again, like, you know, his form will be crucial. He, I think he's a very smart captain as well. He, uh, he led Mumbai, uh, he's led Trinidad to CPL as well. So I think, um, you know, he has that experience in him. And um, if he can perform with the bat and ball, then it will be brilliant for the West Indies. After that, I'm going to go Andre Russell, uh, then uh, Dwayne Bravo. Uh, followed by Rustin Chase. Uh, I think Rustin Chase, um, again, he can provide with the bat, but uh, with the ball, look to probably bowl in the power play with the new ball uh, as an off spinner. Then I'm going to go Hayden Walls Jr. as my leg spinner, try to pick up wickets, the wicket taker. Uh, and then Obed, uh, Obed McCoy, I'm going to go as my fast bowler. If you see here, it's just one fast bowler in that lineup. You know, but you have Russell, Bravo and Pollard uh, to make up the medium pace. And I think Russell has the pace as well to bowl as the second fast bowler. Uh, the reason for, for that is because, um, you know, uh, we we'll need to play two spinners there. And uh, uh, that's why uh, going with uh, with uh, uh, with just uh, Obeid Mukoy. But if you want, you could drop like a one, one spinner and then use Gale as the second spinner. But I don't think that they're going to do that. I think they need to go with two spinners. And that's why um, and, and the, uh, the likes of Pollard, the Bravo and um, Russell will have to play the fast bowler's role. I think uh, if you look at the strengths, the strengths are lie uh, in, in their all-rounders, big hitters there. Um, uh, you know, uh, even like if their openers give them a platform, they can make the most of it. The strength lies in hitting sixes, hitting fours. When it comes to uh, bowling, the you know slower balls, cutters, very smart bowling. Um, they have very smart bowlers. Uh, uh, do the West Indies, and um, it's about playing aggressive and uh, cricket uh, and cricket with flair, right? That's what it is. Um, uh, Caribbean calypso. I think uh, that's the strength. Weakness again. I think the spinner, the experience of Narayan. Uh, not being there, that might be an issue. I think they will target teams, will target Hayden uh, Wall Jr. and Russian Chase. You never know, they might pick up wickets in that uh, process, but I think that that's one weakness if you want to look at. And then in the fast bowling area, they have fast bowlers. They have O'Shane Thomas there in, uh, in the back end. They have Ravi Rampal as well. But uh, uh, for that, who will have to make way, right? Like uh, I've gone with McCoy just because of his recent form and everything, but you can always go uh, rotate between the other three fast bowlers. But if you want an ex if you want to go with two fast bowlers, then I, I don't know which uh, all rounder that you can drop. I don't think you can drop any unless there is an injury for like uh, Bravo or Russell or something like that. But I think um, it's pretty much sorted. Again, um, if you look at their um, their group, they have Australia, they have England, and they have um, South Africa. Then there's two qualifiers. Um, it's going to be a tough. Um, it's going to be uh, it's going to be tough for the West Indies, but the defending champions they have that. Uh, tag uh, going uh, with them. But I just feel without Narayan, they're missing something over there. I don't know if they're going to qualify the semifinals. I won't be surprised if they win the whole tournament, to be honest with you. But I'm just sticking out my neck and saying that they might find it tough in the group stages uh, uh, just uh, just because of, uh, you know, some of their players, uh, you know, in the UE conditions have not performed. And then uh, with the bat and then with the ball, they don't have that world-class spinner like Narayan. So that's why I have them uh, knocked out in the group stages, but that's a big risk that I'm saying. You never count out the West Indies. I won't be surprised, like I said, if they make the semifinals, finals, um, uh, and uh, because they still have the batting, they still have the boundary hitters. It's I'm just taking a risk and saying it. They still have, they're still a world class team, uh, and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. I think that wraps up uh, this analysis. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and um, comment with who what you think about this team, uh, how well you think they're going to do, and who are the key players for me with the bat. Uh, the key player is Nicholas Pura and I think this guy has it in him. I've seen him uh, like, you know, um, in the CPL in domestic as well. He has it in him uh, to clear the boundary. He just needs to get that consistency. Uh, with the ball, I'm going to go with uh, Jaden Walsh Jr. I think he's going to be key. Leg spinner, picking up wickets and uh, putting pressure on the opposition and that's uh, a way for West Indies to, um, you know, try to put teams under pressure, uh, picking up wickets. So th th those are my players to watch out for. Let me know yours. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, catch you soon. Thank you so much.